Camera Bites, me, Truck Driver Sean. Today, we are coming at you with this. This is the Heavy Hatchet. It is a distortion pedal. It is a preamp. You have a switch, you choose which one you want to do. I'm going to be using that today with the new Redbeard um, Gollum Mach 2. It's just a power amp. I have the EQ turned off, so all I'm using is just the volume. Every tone you hear will be coming from the heavy hatchet. And yes, I have two. This one here I got from at NAM, but uh, it, it, uh, something happened. We don't know what happened. The noise gate doesn't work, and without the noise gate on, it kind of really gets a little noisy. But anyway, you got all kinds of features on here. You have a true bypass. You hit this, you're going to be using whatever you got. You're going through an effects loop, you're going to, you know, the amp will take itself back over, or you're getting a clean channel out of it. And you got a boost, which the boost is right over here, eh? And it works out really good. Um, the boost is phenomenal. It ties into this really well. The gain stage is phenomenal. It's definitely in the vein of the Purple Nightmare stuff, but it's also a little bit different. I'm going to say this gives you a little bit of a different flavor. Uh, Merrick's done a brilliant job with an unnamed person. <laughs> Designing this and coming up with it, it's fucking smart. You can choose high gain, low gain, which is a nice touch because not everybody wants to play face all metal, and you can still use this to play rock and roll. Shit, you can play country with it if if you want to do that to yourself. You got a volume knob, you can crank the piss out of it, you can run it halfway, you're gonna get just as much dynamics. You go under halfway, you're gonna start to lose a little bit of the dynamics and headroom. You can do vintage and modern with a toggle, then you have bass, mids, treble, and then you have something that's been part of uh, Driftwood for a very long time, that is the rumble and the sharp, and you have a built-in gate. So, yeah. I've already got that hooked up. So let me grab a guitar and we'll take a look at the Heavy Hatchet Distortion Preamp. It's distortion, it's preamp. Kind of both. All right, here we go. All right, so we're all hooked up here. We have the Redbeard Grendel uh, Mach 2. It's a 50 watt power amp. It's just a power amp. And it does have controls where you have depth and presence and all that, but I have that bypass. There's a little switch on it where you can bypass the EQ. So I'm using it just as a straight power amp. Everything you hear is going to be done by the heavy hatchet. All right, so I'm going to show you what the clean signal is. And yes, you're going to be like, that's not very clean. Well, my signature pickup through um, <clears throat> Heathen Pickups, it's violent. If you like violent and crystal clear notes and stuff and heavy, thick chugs, go check it out, man. I get nothing. Because... I don't want anything. I got my pickup, I'm happy. All right, here we go. I didn't set the I didn't set the volume level before I got started. Here we go.
As you can tell right off the bat, I mean, this thing, without the boost on, I mean, it sounds pretty good, you know? So it gets you right where you need to be. So right now we're in the high gain, so let's just move it to low gain just to see what we get. So even with the low gain setting, it still sounds really good. So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, add a little bit of mids into the low gain. See if we get, it's pretty close like that little Eddie Van Halen thing. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that didn't work. Let's try it with the boost. Let's see if the boost brings us into Eddie's land. <laughs> That got a little bit better, didn't it? All right, so we also have a modern and vintage switch. Right now we're on modern. Let's go to vintage and see what happens. Just sounds good. I ain't really gonna fuck with too much of this other stuff because it just sounds good. But uh, we're not a vintage player, we're not a low game player, so hey, hey, get back over here, man. It fell down. Naughty petal. All right, I'm just gonna tool around here for a second with uh, oh, let's turn that boost off. All right, so we're at high gain and we're at modern. And then we're going to go to Vintage just to see what it sounds like with the high gain. Sounds really good. Let's try with the boost. <laughs> 
Give it the sauce. Got a little bit of some weird feedback stuff going on here. Probably from the lights and stuff. Let's go. here so um, I'm gonna add a little more thump to her just about like that and like that and a little bit like that all right let's check it out Oh, my God. 
Just to show you the difference, we're going to go down to the distortion now. As you can tell, this thing really, really, really does crazy stuff. So that's just me dialing it in real quick. I'm going to go and just start monkeying around with knobs. Uh, if you're watching what I'm doing with my hand, you saw the beginning of the video, I told you what the knobs are. But other than that, let's sit back and have a little bit of fun. Just for shits and giggles, let's see what happens to turn the EQ on. Right? <laughs> 
YouTuber. <laughs> Anyhow, this is awesome. If you're looking for a really good addition, if you're one of these people that uses like simple rigs, or if you have a really crappy head that just you can't get any sounds you want out of it, this will fix your problems. 279 bucks. Driftwood. One thing that's awesome, and I can say this with a hundred percent certainty. Malik stands behind. Merrick stands behind everything. Everything. Something goes wrong. You don't have to get on the internet and go, fuck this guy. No, get a hold of Merrick, man. He's awesome people. Very good people. He cares about his product and he cares about his customers. So definitely, uh, you know, feel safe going to him. And this thing right here just freaking kicks the shit out of a lot of things. It's so good. Anyhow, very cool. Thank you so much, Merrick, for sending this out to me to check out. And, uh, which I already checked it out at NAM, but, you know, yeah. You can never do anything right at NAM. It's a mess. <laughs> but this is a fantastic product. It is available right now. And, yeah, if you like the high-gain stuff, if you like the low-gain stuff, if you like the vintage stuff, it kind of does everything. The only thing it doesn't have is literally the kitchen sink. But it does come in a pretty swanky box full of a whole lot of... I don't know, horse food, I guess, like hay and shit, you know? 
Like, I'm hugely allergic to the stuff, too, which is, becomes very comical when I go to open that box. But, yeah. Super duper awesome. Anyhow, thanks again to Driftwood. S truly do love that guy. He's such a good dude. Yeah, he, he built that for me. How sexy is that thing, huh? Yeah, buddy. Anyhow, I'll catch you in the next video. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to my shit, come on, man. I'm almost to 7,000 subscribers. <laughs> Have some mercy. Show a little pity. I'm okay with pity. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help keep me to 7,000. All right. Anyhow, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, my time is like so short. So I know it seems like it's a little rushed. Uh, maybe if there's more call for me to go more deep into it, uh, let me know and I'll make another video. All right. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you in the next one. Maybe. Maybe I won't catch you. Maybe you're like, this is finally it. I've had enough of his shit. <laughs> yeah, your mom keeps saying that too, but she keeps showing up. Anyhow, catch you next video. Later.